walks. We're gonna keep the heels slightly off the ground. The knees are very bent so that you're really able to bounce here. And we're gonna start by activating into that sympathetic drive. So, eyes looking forward. You're gonna pick something in front of you, real or imagined. Maybe there's something on the wall, maybe there's not. Imagine that you're a lion in the wild and you're looking at your, you're looking at something that you wanna eat, <laughs> okay? So you're going to bounce a few times and whenever you want to, you're gonna pitch yourself forward, gazing toward that thing that you wanna go and get. Make it your movements quite quick. You can change your movements in between and explore however you'd like to explore, but every now and then, go for that lunge forward. Notice that the heart rate starts to speed up, the breath starts to quicken and become shallow, and that's what we want when we're going into that sympathetic drive. If that feels uncomfortable, slow it all down. Go ahead and make some audible sounds when you exhale. You want to tickle those branches that are in the larynx and pharynx. Come back into that crouch, keep the heels off the ground, keep it a little bouncy. You can keep the gaze facing forward if that feels okay for your neck or between the hands if it doesn't. With the right knee, Curl the knee in towards the chest, and we're doing this to hug the psoas muscle. Give it that compression, and then kick back really quick. Come on back into that compression like you're trying to prime your body to push off. You can maybe think that you're in a pool, and you're bending that knee so you can push off the edge. One last time. Push off. Bring both feet back down, heels are off the ground, bounce in those knees, gaze at that target in front of you. Same thing other side, left knee into your chest. So when we're in our sympathetic response, those psoas muscles are contracted. So we wanna contract them even more by giving them that compression. Kind of make them feel safe in their compression. And then kick it back and look at your target when you kick. Do that a few times at your own rhythm Use that audible exhale. One last time. And come on back. So we're gonna bring it back down now into ventral. So you're gonna let your heels come to the ground. You can be in movement or in stillness, whatever feels right in your body. Feel free to come out of the V at any point. You wanna soften the jaw. Soften your gaze a little bit. Teeth are not touching. Get your breath a little more even, equal between inhales and exhales. Your muscles are engaged enough to support you, but they're not, they're not gripping. They're not doing more than they have to. And then let's bring this into our dorsal vagal. So come into stillness. Knees are still a little bent. We're gonna go back into hugging. Actually, let's go across the midline. So we're gonna bring left knee to right elbow and really hug it in. I'm actually gonna place my foot on my right shin so that I'm supported in this hug. Often when we're in dorsal vagal, we wanna be in the fetal position. So imagine you're trying to mimic that now, but in a very supported, safe way. Hug that psoas, let it know you've got it. And then really slowly and tuning into what your system wants, you're gonna to start to unfold that psoas by opening that knee towards the sky. But really honor, we're not looking to get a hip flexor stretch. We're trying to communicate with those vagal branches that go into the belly. You can either stay there or you can come back to the hug and slowly unfold at your own rhythm, but notice how different that feels from kicking back. Notice how different it feels from going into a quote unquote hip flexor stretch. Allow yourself to unfold from the deepest part of you. And let's pause in this unfolded position, whatever version of it feels good in your body, and connect with your ventral vagal energy through your breath. Get those inhales and exhales to be equal to each other. 
You want tone in your muscles so that you feel supported, but they're not over gripping. Your face is engaged. Maybe look around your room a little bit and connect with an object or a person on the screen that gives you comfort or joy. And slowly let that leg come down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So bringing the right knee to the left elbow, you might want to place your right foot on your left shin so that you can really compress, hug that psoas. Like a mom holding a baby, like you're cuddling it and giving it comfort and support, letting yourself know, I'm here for you, I've got your back. And then when you're ready, slowly unfold from the inside out. We're not looking at muscle or fascia here. We're trying to communicate with that nervous system, with those vagal branches that go into the belly. You can either stay in that open position or go in and out of it a few times slowly. Honor what your needs are. Tune into what your body wants and partner with your system. Match what your system needs or give it a little push if it needs something that it's not ready to accept. And then pause in that open position. Send a couple of breaths into your lower belly. Use your breath to help you come back into ventral energy, even though we might be in a dorsal response here. Engage the muscles just enough that you feel good support and connection to the earth and choose an object in the room that gives you comfort. Slowly come on back, both feet on the ground. <clears throat> Let yourself come on up to standing. Your body need a bit of touch. You might need to experiment a little bit to see where is calling for some attention and just give it what it needs. Be that partner that is responding to your needs. Ground yourself into your feet. Use your breath to come back to that ventral home of comfort and connection. So equal parts, inhale and exhale. If you're feeling a little agitated, slow down your exhales, elongate your exhales. If you're feeling lethargic, then emphasize the inhales more and quicken the breath just a little bit. If you started with your hands in one place and then they seem to want a different touch, just adjust. And give your body what it needs eyes can always be open or closed. And allow the hands to come by the side. If the eyes were closed, go ahead and open them.